Here's how to set up your audio device in Ableton Live. First, click on Options and select Preferences. The Preferences dialog box will open up. Now, if it's not already selected, click the Audio tab on the left-hand side. Under Audio Device, you'll see the driver type and audio device that you can currently select. You will usually want to use the ASIO driver type. Under Audio Device, you can click, and in the pull-down menu, you'll see all of the available audio devices. I'm going to go ahead and select M-Audio Delta ASIO. Now I can change the input configuration. When I click on Input Config, I will see all of the available inputs from the audio card that I have in my computer. I can enable or disable more audio inputs. As I enable more of these inputs, my CPU usage can also go up. So you'll want to only enable the inputs that you know you're going to be using. When you've done that, hit OK. Now you can also change the output configurations. Click on Output Config, and here you'll see the available outputs that are coming from your audio card in your computer. You can enable or disable new outputs. Now hit OK. This will apply the settings. Now you can take a look at the other settings that you can make to the audio engine in Ableton. With some audio cards, you'll be able to change the sample rate and latency settings. With other audio cards, these settings are going to be done through the configuration panel for the audio card. This will depend on the developer of your audio card. Once you've made these settings, you can go ahead and just close the Preferences dialog box in Ableton, and your audio card will be set up for audio playback and recording with Ableton Live. Thank you.